Florida Department of Health confirming today that three workers at Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale did test positive for coronavirus. And that is now putting the spotlight on other highly traveled ports like right here in Tampa. This is new video here today of crews cleaning Port Tampa today, and they're doing it in a different kind of way. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee tonight showing you the new product they're now using to keep passengers healthy. Services like this where a lot of folks are touching and leaning against is the perfect place where they're going to be spraying this product. They say it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria as well as viruses and they are confident it will protect passengers. In a place known for tight quarters. This isn't a time to panic. Concerns over getting on a cruise are continuing to grow, especially after the State Department told certain folks to avoid it. If I was a um, uh, cruise passenger and I'm not 80 years or older with some of the conditions that the CDC has outlined very clearly, I wouldn't uh, have any problem uh, taking a cruise. Tuesday, Paul Anderson, the CEO and president of Port Tampa Bay, let us watch the port's cleaning procedures, including the newest step, a product called Impact. It's very effective against um, bacteria, fungus, and viral agents. It's sprayed on high-use surfaces, creating a thin barrier that on a molecular level looks like sharp road spikes. Justin Evans with Impact Environmental Solutions says after concerns over the virus went global, they decided to see if it could fight the spread of coronavirus. We sent some uh, of the active ingredient off to a lab in Germany and they were able to test it against COVID-19. He says it's 99.9% .9 effective and is combined with the port's cleaning procedures already in place. Other agencies, including the Hillsborough County School District and Tampa General Hospital, watched the process too, although they have not said if they will use it yet. So far, there have been no reported cases at Port Tampa Bay, but Anderson says the port has a plan if that changes. The hypothetical is we have a place uh, for a ship to be quarantined, uh, both uh, at sea and here at the port. They say based on the amount of cars in their parking lots right now, people are still taking trips. At the Port of Tampa, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.